Good afternoon. I'm Irene. Have you ever had a really good idea and then lost it? A really great idea? Where is it? Where did I put it? Is it in my desktop? Is it in my Dropbox? Is it in my inbox? Where is my great idea? I have no idea. So what are you to do? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I came up with a way to get it back. We don't need 20 more file sharing solutions. We just need one place where all of our ideas are at our fingertips. One place that's worthy of the idea. Doc curated. It's a revelation. Doc curated. It's brains and beauty. Brains. We ought to discover all of your files across any repository, email, desktop, third parties. We take every file that we find and we strip away the file and we strip away the file formatting. So all that's left are individual components, pages, charts, text, images. Each component is waiting for you to use it individually as you see fit. Brains. Each component is individually indexed and normalized. So all you have to do is type in one search term, one click of a button, and your best content, your best page, not a file, your best page appears to you in the order of relevance. Relevance is determined both by the content and the context of the page. Brains. Docurated learns over time. The more you use a piece of content after searching for it, the easier it will be for you to get to it. So for every single search term, as you use the same piece of content, your best content will always bubble up on top. Brains. Natural language processing. You don't ever have to tag anything. We will analyze your words, we will analyze your ideas, and we will tell you what your content is about. And then there is beauty. All of your ideas are in a visual, beautiful collage each waiting to be used in a different and new way. What does that mean? Each page can be mashed up from any other page, from any other file format. They can be brought together any way you want. Well, what is, what's then? Then you can take those pages and you can export that collage into PowerPoint or PDF irregardless of where the pages came from, irregardless of the file format. You never have to worry about the file format again. You can also share your collage with an individual or a group, and they will receive a beautiful visual email, a visual preview of your collage. Or you can save your collage within Docurated and access it from anywhere at any time you wish. Doctorate it. Don't just take my word for Listen to our satisfied customers. Hi, I'm Paul Marie. I have strategy for Coca-Cola International. With the goal of doubling our business by 2020, we require world-class knowledge and information management. Doctorate provides my team and I with the exact information we require and the ability to share best practices globally. What I like about the Docurated solution in particular is it's a very effective and visual way to search and find information, relevant information, um, across a myriad of data sources 
distributed across the company. Dr. Aided. Finding ideas is a huge problem. There isn't a person in the room. There isn't a company out there that has not lost a good idea. Enterprises today spend $9 billion trying to capture and use their ideas. $9 billion. But we don't believe the doctorated only belongs to large enterprises. We believe the doctorated belongs to everyone. So today, I bring doctorated to you. If you have a Dropbox account, doctorated is yours. Thank you. Good job, guys. Judges? I think it's a really interesting idea. Um, can you tell me how you came up with it? So I was uh, a VP in American Express of something called disruptive innovation. And I found myself sitting in a room with my really talented and creative team, basically spending a large portion of our time just looking for slides. And it was a complete waste of time. We were neither innovative or creative or disruptive, to be honest. And, I, you know, and I'm an impatient person. Frankly, I just got very, very impatient with the process. And I knew there was a better way. Also, at the same time, a lot of the consumer products, such as you know, iTunes, and if you just look at how the content in the consumer wor world has been decomposed, it's very inspiring, right? It's been sort of decoupled from its original form. Um, so looking at some of the consumer trends, things came together, and um, my co-founders and I got together and started prototyping, and here we are. So, so I missed the, where do you get the content? Is it everything off my email, or is there, am I clipping, am I web clipping as I go along? Uh, it's actually both. Uh, we have a sync tool that basically will auto crawl and get everything, and then you can also email things in. So there's inbound email, and we'll actually like take, take the, the test of, of the email yeah. and the web stuff as well. We'll actually open up a link, grab the text, index everything, and then you can. But when you said email in, are you are you just watching my inbox and sucking in every attachment, or do I have to forward it to? Uh, you can do both. In? So we have a way you can basically configure from which contacts you want things synced automatically or you can unbound it as, as, you, as you want. So you take all the content, you strip out every piece of data on it, and then let me create my own kind of pin board for my knowledge base for my own corporate, is it corporate and individual use? Yes, and so we have group management for corporate and enterprises, and then we have an individual. Which, the first time we're launching an individual is today with Dropbox. It's a better knowledge base that's visually designed. And the authority model for relevance, I got your, your piece about if I search for this term and I use this piece of content, next time I search for that too, give me that piece of content. How about for all the other content I've never searched for? Are you looking across users and seeing what's most popular among all the users, or is it siloed to me? How do you? It depends how it's configured. So if you're an only user on the system, obviously it's going to be just your pattern of behavior. But we have sort of trending across the organization, so we'll bubble up things that have been favorited the most, things that have been used the most by your organization. How much are you charging? Uh, so this is a subscription model, um, it, depending on the number of users. So it's a classic, you know, if you have five users, it's X, you know, X amount. What's the X amount? It's $80 per user per month, um, and our entry-level price point for an enterprise is about $9,500 for an annual subscription. Got it. And who do you sell to? We sell to people that consume and create the most uh, information, so marketing, uh, professional services, sales, and strategy people. But really, we've been, you know, we've been approached by people from IT, we've been approached by people from finance, HR, it's really very psychographical almost, you know, sort of people that are really feeling inundated with content. Um, great, I don't know who was doing the demo in the background, but nice job of showing all of the things you guys have built. It looks like there was a lot of technology um, that had been built. It reminds me of components of kind of queue, of trying to find things, attachments.me. Um, initially, I was gonna say, is it expensive to store this data? I see your, you know, your, seems like you're charging for it, but it also when you take a large PowerPoint and you strip out a lot of the content and text, I guess you really are able to compress a lot of this data. So that's, uh, I guess, one of the secret sauces with your technology, would you say? What are some of the secret sauces with you know, the tech that we saw as the demo was being done in the background? 
there's a lot that you can do when you decompose a document into these components. You know, where we have them normalized in the database. What we highlighted during the demo was it's very easy to transfer this between file formats. But you can also look for commonly used components of files uh, that may be com from completely different sources of files, so popular images or charts or graphs in an organization. And the last thing you can also do is very quickly see what's changed between two versions of files. Oftentimes, these PowerPoints are going through a lot of revisions as they're being created. And we can track the changes that are being made per object on each slide. Great. Is there any discovery you can incorporate into it? So if you see your system learns that I'm trying to build an idea around a certain topic, it will actually draw you to things that you don't know about? Yeah, so this is our next step. So the auto curation piece is really going to be a way for us to then do learning about what you want. Um, and that tying with the web and any third party repositories, as new information appears, we can basically build a filter and suck these things in. Um, but it's really advanced functionality for a very advanced user. So, we, I mean, we're definitely planning for it. Great. I was curious, the testimonials you had, are those already being used internally at Coca Cola and Netflix on like a wide scale, or is it like a small team that's using it? Or Coca-Cola is actually being used pretty widely. Uh, Netflix, uh, we have a pilot that we started in February, and it's now we're expanding pretty aggressively. Judges, any more questions? No? That was docurated. Thank you guys very much. Thank, Thank you. you.